everyone, I'm Melinda Nail Fanatic, and I am here to do your October 2016 Love, Peace, and Happiness general tarot reading for all the astrological aspects of Gemini. I am the owner of Nail Fanatics Artistry Design Studio and Love, Peace, and Happiness Tarot in Las Vegas, Nevada. I do personal readings by request. And I do all of this work because I love you guys. You're my brothers and sisters in humanity. We are all one. We are all connected, just like Frankie Beverly Man said. And you know what? When you know that and you embrace it, life gets really, really good for you. So, if you would like a personal reading, what is the value of the information? Send me that and a donation, and I will send you back a reading. Now, I appreciate your support here on periscope at nail fads and on my youtube melinda nail fanatic as well as my artist page on facebook melinda nail fanatic because i am a renaissance woman and i do more things than most people would even dare to try and i do them better than most who do try i ask for a one to three day turnaround if you request a personal reading and i always reserve the right to refuse service i um very much appreciate your donations for the work that I do and I appreciate the personal reading requests if you donate sixty dollars or more for your personal reading I will give you the option of if you're in Las Vegas Nevada you can come into my studio and we'll do it face to face which is my favorite way to do readings because we can feel the flow of energy very intensely also, um, if you're not in Las Vegas, I'll do it live by telephone or through some other live streaming application or means of live streaming. If your donation is less than $60, then it will be by YouTube. And I will allow you to remain anonymous unless you specifically say, Hey, Melinda, you can use my name openly. If you do that, then of course I will. So either way, um, now, reading for Gemini. This is going to be awesome. I just feel it. Also, Love Source God wants me to tell everybody this month, do your solar plexus chakra meditations. Unless you've been doing it recently, we all need to get in touch with our own power and vitality. It's helping us right now in, in life. And so do your solar plexus. Mm, do your solar plexus. Okay. Do your solar plexus meditations. Okay. This is coming in really strong. This is my bonus card. When this card comes out, it means that the next card com that comes on top, it says important relevance, bonus card, energy enhancer, super powerful, take notice. Okay, that's what that means. And then the next card that came out was the four of coins. The four of coins talks about possibly for some of you, the first thing that came to my mind was an inheritance. Somebody's going to get some monies. Okay. Ooh, very likely because the king of coins comes out right behind that, which is the master of money, the master of the physical. But also the four of coins is about a need for some of you, some of you to loosen your palm a little bit. Stop holding on to that fun so tight. You know what? Life is supposed to be enjoyed. If you're working your ass off and you're not ever enjoying it, you might want to just loosen the grip on it and let some stuff come out of your palm and go have some freaking fun. Life is no good for you when there's no fun. What you're creating in life when there's no fun is more of no fun. Um, so for some of you, it is go out there and use your money to bring new life into your life. But I feel like... There is a feeling that you are right, like, it's like, as soon as you're getting it, okay, there, there it is, there's the statement, okay, thank you, love, source, God, you're living check to check, you're living check to check, and because you're staying in that headspace, that's all you can actually realize, wow, but you've got the wheel of fortune here, so again, for somebody, you are experiencing a windfall of money. That's freaking awesome. I'm so happy for you. Somebody's going to get some money from a source that they weren't even expecting. Some sort of windfall of money. Uh, some sort of windfall of luck. 
for somebody else that applies in the in the area of romance you've been holding tight to your emotions you haven't been willing to open up to anybody and all of a sudden this king of coins come into your life and you just want to open up your life and share romance with him and it's going to be like the tables are turning and all of a sudden your flame of inspiration is going to be lit up and you're going to be inspired to love and share your life and open up and it's going to be a new life for you breathing in new possibilities but this is awesome because notice that on this judgment card number 20 comes out 20 is a two numeral numerological two so that's about cooperation and partnership four of coins that's about stability and um, with the ten of the will of fortune that's about a new beginning and the one and the zero is infinite possibilities this is the wow visionary is the archetype that comes out for you it says capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain wow so you're a visionary you are an inspired visionary and for somebody out there you are using your um, mental powers to focus on bringing goodness not only to yourself but to those around you to your brotherhood of humanity just a beautiful thing and it's actually working you're helping to turn the tides of the will of fortune you're helping to bring good things in however for many of you this is simply about yourself like you've been in you've been um, barely making it barely scraping by maybe but you've been using your and for if you haven't been then this is love source God saying this is what you can do to get out of that situation but some of you have already been doing this which is although you're um, feeling like you're check to check and limited in finances you are visualizing yourself in the financial status that you want to be which you're 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 wanting to be the king of coins not the four of coins can you tell the drastic difference between the four and the king just like a regular card deck you know it's a four then you got to go all the way to ten and then you have the, the three cards before you get to the king that's a lot of spaces you want to jump but the, this says that by being that visionary staying focused on what you're truly desiring setting your intention um, for some of you if finances are really that bad like you can really just go use your phone screenshot some things that you would like to bring into your reality use your power of visualization use your power of inspiration to change the wheel of fortune in your life and the universe will support that the angel is blowing the horn love source God says heed the call it's up to you what your life is if money is tight that's because you decided it was and that's because and it's not even your fault love source God says for most of you not even just a sign of Gemini like whoever's watching this for most of you in today's society you were brought up in this mentality of lack you were brought up in the mentality of the only way I can get money is from somebody else the only way I can get money is if I work hard the only way I can get money is if I struggle and go through the pain and go through the process well that's not freaking true and so you should begin to use your visionary power and your flame of inspiration to investigate how are ways that people have come into large financial gains and large financial ability without having to struggle without having to go through pain without having to whatever it is that you believe because the fact of the matter is when people get the ability to do whatever they want all the time and they don't have to struggle and for example let me help you out on this path there are people who have one they were born into it but we know that we aren't all born into it if you're already here and you don't have it you weren't born into it but some people are born into it and, and some people inherit it some people find out that they had a relative they didn't even know existed and all of a sudden they're wealthy some people have a creative ability that they've been focused on for so long and they've just been creating and creating and creating and they have their whole freaking garage filled with something they've been creating and all of a sudden they get the inspiration to do something and BAM money in the hand exchanged talents for talents um, for some people 
they find money. I remember when I was a kid, my dad used to tell me, and I'm working on this for myself, okay? Let me just say that. I remember when my father used to tell me when I was a kid how he used to find $100 bills all the time. And I watched him find $100 bills all the time. Some people find money. Some people um, receive money from just walking up on something. Like it's, it happens all over the world how things work out financially. So there's that for finances. Really quick, before I get out of this, for somebody, there is a earth sign person, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, who is going to come into your life, and they're going to have a profound effect. They may be in regards to some advice that you're going to give or receive. I'm sorry. They're, they're going to say something to you that can change your life. This earth sign person, they're very wise about what they're speaking about. They're very experienced. They're very grounded. They're very kind. They're very sincere when this earth sign person comes to you you will know it because the things that they're going to tell you they're going to be things that you hadn't even perceived or conceived of before but when they speak to you if you pay attention it's going to inspire you and what it inspires you to do will change your whole life in a way that will feel like it was heaven sent mm, mm, mm. And again, this, you're, you're really, for somebody, you're really getting an inheritance. Like I just talked about all the different ways. Somebody out there, you're getting an inheritance. It could be a relative that had already passed that you knew they had passed, but what you didn't know was that somebody else was hiding the money. It's going to come to you. It could be a friend that passed that you didn't even know that they had you in their will, and bam, here it comes. It could be somebody you don't even freaking know, some nice person that you were kind to. This happens. I've heard of stories of this happening where you are nice to, let's say, a neighbor or somebody you saw somewhere, and they just happened to put you in their will because they didn't have anybody in their life who they thought would do good with it. But you're such a good person, and you're always so beneficial and helpful to them. Again, there's a million ways this can happen. For those of you who don't feel like this is happening in your life, do yourself a favor. Begin to investigate this. Find stories about how good things happen, and it seems like it's just magic, heaven-sent blessings, because this is what you can experience during the month of October. Also, Love Source God says, remind them, Melinda, sometimes this stuff is going on behind the scenes and it actually is happening during October 2016. But you might not find out about it until October 2017 or January 2017 or June 2017. Anyhow, whenever you find out about it, you will find out that it started way back here. You may or may not re remember this reading, but if you're watching this reading saying, oh no, that can never happen to me you're right if you're watching this reading saying oh yeah that's me something's good going on for me even if I don't see it right now there's something working out behind the scenes for me whatever you see for yourself is what you can have if you can't see it working out for you you're right if you can see it working out for you you're right you can't hold anything in your hand that you can't see in your mind think about it anything you've ever held in your hand you first had to hold it in your mind. Then you could hold it in your hand. That goes for love. That goes for money. That goes for career. That goes for happiness. That goes for anything that you could ever desire. You must hold it in your mind first, in your heart. Get it there, and then you'll see it in your hand. So, thank you for tuning in here on Periscope at Nail Fads, N-A-I-L-F-A-D-S. Thank you for um, liking and following my artist page on Facebook, Melinda Nail Fanatic, and subscribing to my YouTube channel, Melinda Nail Fanatic. And if you're here watching me live as I'm recording this on Periscope, the next sign I'm going to do is Leo. And so tune in. I'll be right back for the next sign. Thank you so much for all your support, for all the love, all the hearts, all the thumbs up, all the good things that you're doing for me. And I am looking forward to doing this next reading for you. Love, peace, and happiness to you and yours, and of course, me and mine. Until next time.